ultrasonic cool mist versus evaporative humidifiers. Which is better? Let's find out. This is a brief overview of two of the most highly rated humidifiers on Amazon. However, these two could not be any more different from each other. The one on the left is Levoit Classic 300S, and on the right is SmartMe that works on a completely different principle. It's called evaporative humidifier. Both Levoit and SmartMe are Chinese manufacturers. This is the eighth coolness humidifier that I've used this year, and I found Levoit to be the best overall. But the issue here is what is the case and the issue with all cool mist humidifiers is that they throw, as you can see, water droplets into the air. And the water droplets can easily carry bacteria and sediments that are in the water. This is an issue. Unless you are using distilled water, that means you have to actually go and buy water gallon by gallon by gallon or you're going to clean the machine every other day with vinegar and other things. It is an issue. It's something that it needs to be said. On the right is SmartMe. As I've mentioned before, I've tested eight humidifiers this year, and the SmartMe by far is the most impressive. SmartMe has a very simple interface. It also comes with a smart app that uh, can control um, many other things, such as a, a timer and an auto mode. And this is the air output. It is extremely quiet. This is fan driven, but it's extremely quiet. It's almost as quiet as an ultrasonic humidifier. This is the lower part or the water tank of SmartMe. It holds one gallon and it lasts a couple of days actually. It has these rotating blades that sits in a basically a tub of water and quite brilliantly it adds very effectively moisture into the air. And it does it without adding any kind of bacteria, any kind of sediment into the air. This is what makes this, in my opinion, a much healthier choice. Um, the conclusion that I have come to is that cool mist humidifiers are simply or not healthy. They may be good for greenhouses. I would not use them near uh, babies, near infants, in bedrooms, and so forth. That's my conclusion. Now let's do a noise test. Right now, both of these units are running, and both are in level one. This is Lavoit. Obviously very quiet at low mist. This is smart me. Equally quiet in low mist. Now let's go to the highest setting. Not bad at all, although the high setting in bedroom does become too noisy. So if I use it in a bedroom, I would put it in um, low but or, or medium, but not higher than medium. And let's bring Smart Me to the highest setting. Right now, I don't know if you can see it, but right now it's on low. And that's high.
So a direct comparison between level three, both only have three levels, smart me. And the void. Well, let's try level two. Now that's level two on Smart Me. Very quiet. And now we go to level two. On the void. Also very quiet. That's back to level one. Level one smart me is perfectly fine to leave it running all night in a bedroom. It's extremely quiet. Works fine. And uh, it does have an option to kill the lights if you need to, like a night mode, but it's really not necessary. Both of these units are app-based. This is the app for smart me. And this is the app for the void. I would like to mention that both of these apps are highly intrusive. They ask for permission to access files, camera, microphone, contacts, and so forth. That's just something for you to know. In conclusion, as I mentioned to you after uh, trying eight Cool Mist ultrasonic humidifiers this year. I am not sure that I can recommend them for the reasons that I mentioned before. However, the Smart Me is the uh, winner, although at a higher price. I hope this video is helpful to you.